Today, we'll be diving into a notable shift in South Africa's political landscape, where prominent lawyer and advocate Dolimpo for recently left the Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, to join the Yumkonto Wieseswi Party, or MK Party. This move has sparked much discussion and speculation in South Africa, especially given Pofu's history and influence in the EFF. In this video, we'll take a closer look at why Mpofu made this decision, the significance of his departure, and what this could mean for the political dynamics in South Africa as both the EFF and the MK party prepare for the upcoming elections. Let's start with a bit of background to set the stage. Dolim Pofu is widely recognized in South African political and legal circles. Over the years, he has served as a lawyer, advocate, and former national chairperson for the EFF, and he's handled numerous high-profile cases. Bofu's role in the EFF extended beyond legal matters, he was involved in shaping the party's strategies and addressing issues related to economic reform, social justice, and addressing inequality, which are core tenets of the EFF's agenda. Since its inception in 2013, the EFF, led by Julius Malima, has been known for its bold, often confrontational approach to addressing socio-economic issues, with a focus on land redistribution, nationalization of resources, and uplifting the economically marginalized. Bofu was instrumental in some of the party's major moves and was considered one of its key figures. The MK party, which Bofu has now chosen to join, carries a different history and focus. The MK party's roots are linked to the Yunkonto Wieseswi, or MK, a military wing that was once part of the African National Congress, ANC, during the apartheid era. This wing was formed to resist apartheid through armed struggle, and its members included some of South Africa's most respected anti-apartheid fighters. In recent years, the MK party has emerged as an entity largely representing the interests of former ANC military veterans, but it's distinct from the ANC and has increasingly focused on addressing veterans' issues and expanding its political influence. Under the leadership of former President Jacob Zuma, the MK party seeks to gain a stronger presence in South Africa's political arena, advocating for a different set of priorities that sometimes contrasts with both the ANC's current policies and the EFF's revolutionary approach. Now, Let's turn to Mpofu's recent decision to move from the EFF to the MK party and what this means for South African politics. At the inauguration of Botswana's new president, EFF leader Julius Malima shared some insights on Mpofu's departure. Malima described the decision as mutual and respectful, acknowledging that Mpofu's political beliefs had shifted and they no longer fully aligned with the EFF's direction. Malima emphasized that this move was not the result of any internal conflict, as some speculated, but rather a natural evolution in Pofu's political journey. According to Malima, Pofu's departure is a reflection of his desire to pursue new political goals, which he feels the MK party better supports. Malima stated that Dolly has been a significant part of the EFF's struggle for economic justice and transformation and that they respect his decision to move in a different direction. Interestingly, Mpofu has not yet publicly commented on his reasons for joining the MK party, but sources close to him suggest that he views the MK party as a platform that resonates more closely with his current political ideals. These sources hint that Mpofu sees the MK party as a space where he can further his vision in a way that he believes aligns with South Africa's needs today. By aligning with former President Jacob Zuma's MK party, Mpofu's decision might also be seen as a return to a more traditional form of political activism, possibly motivated by a desire to work within a framework focused on the rights and interests of military veterans and the broader agenda associated with the ANC's historical roots. While Malima dismissed any claims of discord or underlying issues within the EFF, Bofu's departure is a notable shift, and it raises questions about the EFF's own strategies moving forward. It's also worth noting that transitions like these aren't unusual in politics, especially as parties grow and evolve. 
Malima was clear in his statement that the EFF's mission to tackle inequality and fight for economic reform remains strong, and he reassured the public that the EFF is gearing up for the 2024 national elections with a sense of renewed commitment. He also suggested that transitions like Mbofu's are a natural part of the political process, as individuals and parties navigate changing beliefs and realign with new objectives. Looking ahead, Mbofu's transition to the MK party could have a few implications for the upcoming election season. First, the MK party, with its focus on veteran issues and its association with Jacob Zuma, could potentially attract some former ANC supporters and those who resonate with a more traditional, veteran-oriented narrative. Bofu's reputation and influence may provide the MK party with an added boost, and he might play a significant role in shaping the party's policies or outreach strategies. This could help the MK party gain traction among voters looking for an alternative to both the ANC's current policies and the EFF's more radical approach. For the EFF, Bofu's departure may prompt a period of introspection, as they reassess their leadership strategies and prepare for a competitive election year. Losing a key figure like Bofu could require the EFF to strengthen its public engagement and build up new leaders who can take on similar roles. However, as Malima indicated, the EFF remains focused on its core mission, and this transition could ultimately encourage the party to clarify its policies and priorities even further, possibly appealing to a wider base of voters who share the EFF's vision for economic justice. In the broader political landscape, Bofu's shift might impact alliances, as both the EFF and MK party will likely appeal to constituencies with overlapping concerns around economic issues, social justice, and the representation of marginalized groups. However, while the EFF's focus is on radical economic transformation and empowerment of the underprivileged, the MK party is more centered around the legacy of the ANC's anti-apartheid military wing, with a specific focus on veteran affairs and possibly a more conservative stance on certain issues. These differences might attract distinct voter bases, although we could see some strategic collaborations or mutual support in areas where their goals overlap. Ultimately, Bofu's transition highlights the dynamic nature of South Africa's political landscape, where individuals, even those deeply connected to one party, may choose to realign their paths based on evolving personal beliefs and strategic opportunities. This move serves as a reminder that political figures, like all individuals, experience changes in perspective and seek out platforms that best align with their values. So, what do you think about Mpofu's decision to leave the EFF for the MK party? Will this affect voter support for either party? And could this shift lead to new alliances in the upcoming elections? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on this story and other important developments in South African politics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.